Okay, we will look at the division. In the division of integer 11 over 2, we will get 5 plus 1 over 2. How this expression comes from? So, it's actually 11 divided by 2. Okay, 2 times what number you will have 11? So, there's no number. So, the nearest one is 2 times 5 equal to 10. So, we will substitute subtract 10 and you will get 1 so 5 is our quotient 2 is our divisor and 1 is our remainder so the statement could be expressed as 11 equal to 2 times 5 plus 1 also so this is what we call divisor divisor times quotient plus remainder. So both way is correct. In the same way, the division of polynomials can be expressed in the form as below. So this one is the same as the first part and the second one is the same as the second part. When dividing polynomials, the quotient and remainder can be found by using long division. What we'll do just now is a long division. So P polynomial divided by D divisor and then you will have quotient and remainder. So the division operation will continue until the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of divisor. For example, when, we have, when you have some polynomial P divided by divisor, let's say X squared plus 1, then you get x. Now, you will stop this long division because the degree of remainder is less than the degree of divisor. So, that's the example. Okay, let's move to part B, long division. So, for example, 3, find the quotient and remainder for polynomial P equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 when divided by d equal to x plus 1. So this is our divisor. Hence, express p in terms of q and r. So to find quotient and remainder, we must use long division. So the polynomial should be inside. So we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 okay, divided by x plus 1. So, to, find long, to use long division, there's three uh, operations will involve, which is divide, division, uh, multiplication, and subtraction. So, first, we need to divide 2x squared by x. So, when you divide 2x squared by x, you will have 2x. So, this 2x, we will write it up there. Okay, now what we need to do is multiplication. We will multiply x plus 1 with 2x. So the first one, x times 2x, you will have 2x squared. And then 1 plus 2x, you will have 2x. So we will subtract this expression. So 2x squared minus 2x squared, so 0. So 3x minus 2x, you will have x. So we will bring down the negative 6. We still can be divide because the degree here is still the same as the degree of divisor. We still need to continue dividing. So next we will divide x by x. So x divided by x you will get 1. So we will write 1 up there. Okay, now x plus 1 times 1. So x times 1 is x. 1 times 1 is 1. So subtract. So x minus x, 0. And negative 6 minus 1, you should get negative 7. So we will stop the long division here because the degree of remainder is less than the degree of divisor. So, we need to express our P in terms of Q and R. Therefore, 
for p is 2x square plus 3x minus 6 equal to our uh, divisor which is x plus 1 times by quotient 2x plus 1 and then plus remainder. So here we have negative sign so it should be negative 7. So remember divisor times quotient and then plus remainder. Okay or the other way you can use 2x square plus 3x minus 6 divided by our divisor x plus 1 equal to our quotient which is 2x plus 1 plus our remainder over divisor. So we'll have remainder over divisor. So just give your answer only one. So this is only the example. So that should be our final answer. Okay, example 4. Given 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 7 is divided by 3x minus 4. Write your answer in the form of P equal to D times Q plus R. So first, it doesn't state it here P or Q for this expression. So we need to let. So let P equal to 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 7. And our divisor is 3x minus 4. So we need to do long division 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 7 divided by 3x minus 4 okay the first step we will look at the first term so divide so 3x cubed divide by 3x you will have only x squared so write x squared up there. So 3x times x squared will have 3x cubed. Minus 4 times x squared will have minus 4x squared. So subtract the same thing, you will get 0. And then bring down the x plus 7. Okay, we still can be continue our long division. So because the, the degree of remainder is still the same as the degree of divisor. So we will continue dividing x divided by 3x. So when x divided by 3x, you will get 1 over 3. So plus 1 over 3, then we will multiply 3x times 1 over 3, you will have x. Okay, then negative 4 times 1 over 3, you will have negative 4 over 3. So subtract, when you, you press your calculator, you will have 25 over 3. So, write your final answer in terms of D times Q plus R. So, 3X cubed minus 4X squared plus X plus 7 equal to our divisor, 3X minus 4 times by our quotient, X squared plus 1 over 3 and then plus our remainder, 25 over 3. So, that should be our final answer. Okay, proceed to example 5. So use long division to find negative x cubed plus 27 divided by 3 minus x. So we'll do long division, so negative x cubed. Okay, look at that. There is no x squared in the expression, but we still need to write it as 0x squared and also 0x plus 27. Okay, we will divide it by... Okay, we will write 
x in front so that it's easy for us to do long division. So basically, 3 minus x is the same as negative x plus 3. Okay, so the first part, we will divide negative x cubed by negative x. So negative x cubed divided by negative x, you will have x squared. So write x squared up there. Okay, negative x times x squared, you'll get negative x cubed. And then 3 times x squared, you'll have plus 3x squared. Do subtraction. Okay, negative x cubed plus negative negative is positive. So it's 0. Then 0x cubed minus 3x cubed. So you'll have negative 3x squared. So we still can continue our long division. So bring down the 0x. Okay, next what we need to do is divide negative x, 3x cubed by negative x. So negative 3x cubed divided by negative x. So you will have uh, 3x. Okay, write 3x. Plus 3x. Okay, then multiply. Negative x times 3x, you will have negative 3x squared. And then 3 times 3x, you will have 9x. So, subtract. So, negative 3x squared plus 3x squared. So, 0. 0x zero minus 9x, you will have negative 9x. So, bring down the negative so bring down 27. Okay, continue dividing. Negative 9x divided by negative x. So you will have only 9. So plus 9. So and then multiply negative x times 9, you'll have negative 9x. And then 3 times 9 is 27. So dividing, uh, subtracting the same expression, you'll get 0. Okay. Here we can see that when the remainder is 0, we say that negative x cubed plus 27 is exactly divisible by 3 minus x. When we say that exactly divisible, what you need to do is remainder must be equal to 0. So that is the keyword. Okay, so our question is not finished yet. We need to write it in the standard form. So we have negative x cubed plus 27 equal to our divisor which is uh, 3 minus x times our quotient x squared plus 3x plus 9 and then remainder is 0. So this is our final answer. Okay, so there is 5 exercise here. You have already learned how to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and long division. So, by the end of this lesson, you should know how to do all these five questions. So, the answer is already given in the books. You can try it yourself. And good luck!